Put your hands together, start cheering, start whooping. Give lots of love for Sarah Keyworth. This is so nice. It's lovely to be here in London. I'm new to London. I'm enjoying it. But one of the things I'm struggling with is the underground trains. Has anyone been on the underground trains? <laughs> yeah, has anyone ever been sat on an underground train? Because no, it, it happened to me. I was on a very busy underground train. This woman got on. She came over to where I am and she sat on me, which was... <laughs> Which is weird for me, because I'm from Nottingham, and in Nottingham, if you get that close to a stranger on public transport, you have been stabbed. <laughs> but she, she came over to where I am, and she sat on me, which isn't the weirdest thing that she could have done, but what made it wholeheartedly more bizarre was the fact that she sat on me, but I was not sat down. <laughs> so she just kind of hooked her ass over me like I was a sturdy windowsill. <laughs> and, I, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm new. I don't know the etiquette, so I, I just did what felt natural to me. I just put my arms around her. <laughs> and I said, I will never let you go. <laughs> and, uh, and I didn't, she's in my basement. <laughs> so that's, that's nice. Other end of the spectrum, I was on an empty underground train and there was one woman sat opposite me and she was eating an apple and she ate every last bit of this apple, including the pips and the core. And then, when she was finished, she just burst into tears. <laughs> now, normally I'd ask if she was okay, but I think she knew what she'd done wrong. <laughs> I just, just left her to it. I'm, uh, I'm not great with women. I'm, I'm not good with women, uh, which is hard because I am actually gay. And uh, I get strange reactions. Thanks, guys. I'll meet you later. Uh, I get strange reactions when I tell people I'm gay. Often people, they double take and they say, oh, but you, you don't look gay. And I'll say, oh, that's a good point. Maybe I'm not. <laughs> and, uh, you know, one of the most common reactions I get is people say, okay, you're gay in your relationship. Which one's the man? Which one of you is the man? And I'll say, <laughs> there isn't one. And they'll say, oh, you know what I mean, like, who's the big spoon? <laughs> and I find myself having to stress to people that it's, it's only female humans in my relationship. <laughs> there's no men, and there's no cutlery. <laughs> it's bizarre. It's absolutely bizarre. Really, really strange. So one of my friends, he said to me, Sarah, how do you know you're gay if you've never seen a penis? Have you ever taken the time to have a proper good look at a penis? Straight women in the room, have you ever had a proper good look at a penis? <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at you. Have you ever had a proper good look? At, don't answer that, because you seem like the type. Uh, don't, don't answer that. No, uh, one of my favorite reactions came from a friend of mine, because she took one look at me, one look at my girlfriend, and said, oh my God, you guys would have such cute babies. And I was like, really? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, how? <laughs> and she was like, of course, I'm sorry, you would have to adopt. And I was like, okay, fine, we would have to adopt, but we would always think it's cute. No matter what, we will think our child is cute because we get to pick it. <laughs> and we ain't gonna pick an ugly one. <laughs> so it's nice. I wasn't a very intelligent child when I was younger. I wasn't a very intelligent teenager. I had a first love when I was 16. We went out from the age of 16 to 18 and we got into this thing where she would, she would go out with me and then she would break up with me and she would go out with me and she would break up with me. And my friends, they said, Sarah, did you not learn? Did you not understand what was going on here? But I was in bottom set maths. I hadn't done patterns yet. <laughs> so I just didn't know. I just didn't understand. But no, it's nice. When I was younger, I didn't know what being gay was. I didn't understand what being gay was. I thought I wanted to be a little boy and I would flirt with older women. I would try and make them laugh. And I got it into my head that it wasn't working because I was a boy and it definitely would work if I was a girl. Turns out it wasn't working because I was a child. Thank you. And, uh, no, but my, my girlfriend, she said to me, okay, you thought that you wanted to be a little boy. Did you ever think that you were born in the wrong body? Did you ever have that thought process? And then she said, no, actually, I don't like that. I don't like that suggestion because, because the wrong body implies that there's a right body out there for you. I don't like that. But I quite like that. I like that suggestion because we were out for dinner the other day. I'm going to leave you with this. We were out for dinner. My girlfriend, she called me staring at another girl's bum. And she was like, what the fuck are you doing? 
and I, I panicked and I was like, I'm sorry. I thought it might have been mine. <laughs> and I uh, got away with it. So uh, thank you very much. That is my time. Have a good night. Bye.